morning guys welcome to today's vlog today is saturday but of course you guys are watching this on monday we are leaving elgin we have been at my sister and brother-in-law's house for the last three and a half days um we've been watching their farm while they were in the hospital having a baby so we have a new baby in the family i have one nephew now i have a nephew and a niece there were some complications but everything is okay and they should be coming home this afternoon so all good things there. So tonight we're actually going back to Austin to watch a climbing competition at our climbing gym. And this isn't any ordinary competition. There are probably the most amount of pro climbers that we will ever have the chance to see climb in person. Is that, that about right? Maybe, unless we go right. to, uh, was it Nationals World, whatever it is. Oh, Nationals. Would we have a chance to do that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well we unless live we... live in a trailer that moves. That's true. That's, that's very true. Um, so we're gonna go and try to catch the finals of that. My favorite female climber, Boulder, will be there. Um, pretty big deal. She's pretty awesome. So we're gonna go do that. So we're planning on going back to Georgetown this week as of Monday, but we haven't even talked about it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is our life now. Just make it happen. So we need to look at campsites today and see where we can stay, kind of what days that we'll be able to go. If campsites are booked up, you know, it might only be a few days, but I think that he wants to go for the full five days to sales. So he wants to go to the local businesses in the Georgetown area because apparently there's a lot of them that need websites. So he's going to go in, meet them face to face, uh, set up meetings. In the meantime, I'll be doing my normal thing, working from the trailer or wherever. I do want to find a gym in the area, get my workouts in because that's priority right now. I've got my powerlifting meet on June 17th, so I think I'm six weeks out from that, six or five weeks out from that. I definitely do need to stay on my programming, especially because Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I didn't get my normal powerlifting workouts in. We're gonna let you guys know our plans as far as traveling this week, and maybe I'll show you guys some of the fun, the climbing stuff, because I know that that might be different for some of you new subscribers, uh, but we did do a lot of bouldering before I got injured. Was it in February? I don't know. I think it was February, yeah. So I got injured in February and we had to take a full three months off of climbing. Um, but we're back at it and I think this competition is gonna have us pumped to keep, like, to get back into the climbing world. Yeah, so we're gonna head home. Um, first we have to go back to our home and get the dogs because they've been with Matt's parents for the last few days so they're probably a little bit tired of them. Uh, we're gonna pick them up, head to my parents' house, go hang out with them for a bit and then go to Austin for the climbing competition. So I will see you guys probably at lunchtime.
home sweet trailer. <gasps> Puppies! Oh, it's hi! Hi! it'd be weird going from like being in a house to our tiny space again with the dogs but I don't know I'm, I'm relieved that we're home so we're gonna unpack I have some unpacking to do and then we're gonna eat lunch which we stopped by this Mediterranean cafe on the way home and it's really really good so I'm gonna show you guys what it is look at that little front pose oh Brady why'd you gotta go and mess it up did you miss us did you miss us Good boy. Oh man, what's on your paw? Oh, good boy. Mwah. Ow, ow, ow. Your claws hurt. All right, so here is our order. Can you guys guess which one mine is and which one is that? I always get veggies. Anything with onions will never be mapped. So I got a, a salad bowl with extra veggies, spring mix, baby kale, grilled beets, a uh, vegetable relish, spiced chickpeas, carrot slaw, onions, cabbage slaw, and pita bread. So that's everything. Oh, and hummus. I can't forget the hummus. And then Matt got a rice bowl with spiced chickpeas, quinoa, carrot slaw, hummus, and a hot harissa sauce. So this place is really, really delicious. It's kind of like Chipotle, but Mediterranean food, so you can build everything, but they have a ton of options to add in which is awesome hey blair huh? we're going back to georgetown what georgetown what about it going back to georgetown okay <laughs> is that a good angle for you yeah <laughs> yeah it's fine too right at the bottom this you fun. can get a bigger reach i want a bigger reach we're going back to georgetown this next week from monday all the way through friday uh, so about a full week. So what we'll be doing is uh, Blair will be chilling in the trailer um, all, I do nothing. all day, <laughs> every day. And then I will be out and about in the town talking to local business owners. Uh, that's actually what I do. Uh, so I'm like a marketing consultant. I also do a few other things on the business side. I'm just talking to local businesses, seeing what, kind of what they're looking to do, uh, see if they need any of my services, see if I can help in any way. It's, it's going to be just like that last time we were in Georgetown. We're going to the same exact place again, but that's just because it has more trees. It's next to water. Yeah, Jim Hog is right across the lake from us. It seems like there weren't as many trees around each spot. So that was kind of the selling factor for me. So uh, that's why we're going there. Yeah, back to Georgetown. So trip number two for us. But this one I'm excited because, so the last trip, and excuse me, I have stuff on my teeth, was like getting the initial trip jitters out of the way, dumping our black tank. But now this one is like the real deal. We're going to have a normal week type of trip. So I'm going to get my work done. I'm going to continue vlogging. Matt's going to get his work done. And then I'm going to find somewhere to work out. So it's going to be more of what our life on the road will be like normal week to week. So maybe I'll do like a day in the life vlog so you guys can see how my work day looks, workouts, what kind of gym I find. I really don't know where I'm gonna work out, but I'm gonna make it happen. So now I'm gonna make a spinach smoothie because I need more greens in my life. Okay. Cool. Right, so one more thing I wanted to touch on is his comments last week about a new trailer and a new truck. What I get from it is he's always thinking ahead. So we'll be doing something and working on a project and he's already 10 steps ahead thinking, okay, in the next year, I think this would make it better. Ooh, are you unhappy with this trailer, Matthew? I hate my whole life. Are we gonna be no, like two years out? Is what I'm looking at. Maybe, maybe actually more than that. Uh, I want to stay in this trailer for about two years, maybe more, then possibly trade it in. Because if we trade it in now, we'll actually end up losing money. Same thing with the truck. So I'm, I'm learning every day. Uh, that's all what this is about. And so. It's not that I'm unhappy, it's that I want to put things out there in everyone's mind. I'm just talking to myself out loud is what I'm really doing. Yeah, he does. And then I just edit it and I put it out there. Upgrading to a different trailer or changing out trailers or trucks is not even anywhere close. Of course, we still have to travel more. So um, we're going to be in this trailer in Little Flint Rockwood. Flint Rockwood. For a good amount of time now. Morning. Did you find your camera? It is. 
That's good. How'd you know? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it was in the car. I found it. Everything's okay. Okay. Excuse me, Brady. Never mind. I'll just don't mind me. Ow. I think that our fridge is a little too cold because our coffee here is frozen. Can you hear that? I got a giant coffee cube in there. Oops. <laughs> effective. Thanks. It's effective. Good job. Matt method. <laughs> the Matt Murphy method. Yeah. Ooh. There's like a guy out there named Matt Murphy who's like, I already have a method. <laughs> Uh, uh. Alright guys, so the last two days or so I've been noticing a sulfury smell in our water. You're noticing it too in the kitchen, right? Right. Okay, so it started in the bathroom and it's not just the hot water. We've been looking on forums. It's something that his parents have had in their one of their bathrooms. It's a sulfur smell. I'm going to be going to buy some water. I don't want to drink it because it's just doesn't smell very good. Hot water as well as cold water. So a lot of the forums that we said um, said that the hot water heater can cause this, but it's also when we run the cold water. So we're not quite sure what it is. Um, we're going to be buying another filter. So I don't know if maybe that would help it. But if any of you guys have any recommendations, this is what's so great about this channel because we have so many people that know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know if this is normal. I don't know if it's safe water to consume or use for cooking. Pretty sure it is a common thing. Where are you? I don't know. Am, am I in it yet? <laughs> Seems like it's a pretty common thing. I'm just gonna sneak back here. Hello. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've been wanting to get a filter for quite a while. I talked to some people and they have like five filters. That's about it. It smells. I don't even smell it right now. Oh, I do. Will they, will they sell that at like Walmart or something? Could we go get that today? I don't know. We're going to be getting another filter to see if that helps. But if any of you guys have any recommendations in the meantime, we would gladly, gladly read them. I just don't want nasty egg smelling water all the time. Please. Some of the time is okay. And then we're going to stop on the way home to get some stuff for our first round of care packages. Um, thank you to everybody that's already on Patreon. We've got a few of you guys on there, but we also did have a very generous donation, a one-time donation um, from one of you guys, and I'm gonna put his um, YouTube name down here. Yeah, I'm calling you out. Brian is, <laughs> is our, our wonderful friend who is helping to do this. So we're gonna put together several care packages from the get-go. We're getting started with this and I'm really excited. So thank you, thank you for all of the wonderful support and encouragement um, about Friday's video. I also thought about um, taking them downtown Austin with us one time and just handing them out. We've done that before too. I, yeah. I put them in a backpack and we walk around and you seriously, every five to 10 feet is somebody sitting on yeah. a porch um, because there's a, a place that we usually park right downtown that's really close to the is the homeless shelter well it's what actually it? I, I used to work down there so i worked at uh caritas it's a uh, they, they help homeless uh, find jobs i mean basically they just give them that leg up that they might need um of course you know there's always a different situation we mainly worked with the veterans the ones that were were trying to get apartments but they just couldn't um and then try to sustain that life well we park right across the street from that because yeah so there's the Caritas, which help the homeless, and there's the homeless shelter right next to it, and it's just packed. Like they're mm -hmm. all around there's it. Always a line. Yeah. So um, I, I know that not everybody gets in there every night, or not everybody can get what they need each day. So you know, basically having that as our little drop-off location, I think it's going to be really cool when we are in this area. And then whenever we're traveling, we'll just kind of you know take it as as we come and and see see who we come across. Yeah, I'm really excited about this and to have. Um, the encouragement and support of so many of you guys is awesome um, because it just further confirms that this is something that we can make even bigger. And like I said, the, the point of it was to be able to reach out to more people um, and get this started sooner than rather than later and at least get the idea out there. So even if somebody isn't helping with our goals, uh, maybe it'll kind of get you thinking to do something more on your own as well and not just to the homeless community, but you know, wherever, kind of wherever your heart leads you, wherever you feel like you can help and wherever you feel like you're needed most, I just encourage you guys to do what you can each day to help make somebody else's life better. Or just a smiling face that, you know, doesn't ignore them whenever they walk by. And there's that. <laughs>
Sometimes that can make all the difference. All right, check it out, guys. So this is the last little bit before we're gonna leave this vlog for today. We're really excited. Uh, but we just went to Dollar General and we've got enough stuff to put together six bags already with that initial $50 um, donation that we received. This can just show you guys a little bit of what we got. I'm just gonna read them off for you to give you an idea of um, what we're gonna be including in these bags. So we got uh, socks, raisins, bags, you know, to actually put the stuff in, saltine crackers, toothpaste, lots and lots of toothpaste, Kleenex wet wipes, uh, toothbrushes, peanut butter crackers, and waters. So those are gonna be the first six bags that we're going to put together. And actually, Matt had a cool idea. What we're gonna do is, outside of just six of those bags, we also got two jars of peanut butter and some saltine crackers. And so, I figured that, you know, some kind of high caloric food like peanut butter is gonna be good. And so, you know, if anybody wants a, seriously just a jar of peanut butter with some saltine crackers, we'll give that to them as well. I figured that any little bit of food can help. You look I, like I you wanna, wanna say something. Yes, because actually I wanna, two bags of saltine crackers and a jar of peanut butter in each bag. Um, that pushes the price up just a little bit, but not much. Now, I, I kind of want to get one of those uh, drawstring bags uh, to put everything into as well so that they have something that they can use afterwards, but then also that peanut butter and, and crackers will last a little bit longer. And, yeah, it's high in fat and gives you a lot of energy for the day. So, uh, while they're, you know, panhandling or even just getting ready for a job interview, either way, they can get some, uh, some calories in and feel full and not have to worry about that side of things while they're trying to do their thing. Yes, and I found this really cool article online. Um, it's from a website called morewithlessmom.com. I'm gonna link the actual article below, but it's, it's an article that she wrote called Want to Know What the Homeless Really Want in Care Packages. The real deal from a mama who has been there. Um, so this is a lady who was once homeless and she advocates for people putting these care packages together and she lists off a lot of things that you might not think that people would need, but she found that are really common necessities um, when you're without a home. So I'm gonna link that below if you guys wanna go check it out and get a better idea of, again, what we're gonna be including in these care packages. The first six are underway. I do need to put them together, but of course we'll show you guys updates as we do that and update you guys on, on how it goes with handing them out. Hopefully we'll be able to hand out one today. Uh, there's this corner that we pass by going to the rock gym and there's always somebody there. Always somebody there. I think they have like a rotation going, but if there's somebody there, I'm gonna put together a bag real quick and give it to them. So thank you guys for watching these videos. As always, love to have you along for the journey. Next time you see us, we will be in Georgetown having a blast, living life, doing our jobs, and dragging the puppies along with us. As always, thank you guys for watching. Have fun out there. Bye! Yeah, here we go. Peanut butter and crackers? Yeah, that's yeah. cool. It's a full jar, so oh, yeah. it's all for you. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah sure. Have a great day. Yeah, yeah you too. too. <laughs> oh, oh, always will. We're trying. <laughs> We're trying. You too. <laughs>